Allegations of police brutality on Long Island. Two Nassau County officers are now under investigation after this video surfaced. I'm Witness News reporter Stacy Sager live in Garden City with the story. Stacy. Well, Ken, this video involves a 20-year-old from Westbury who says he's been repeatedly pulled over by cops, these two cops in particular. And so back on April 25th, when these two cops pulled him over for having a cracked windshield, well, he began to roll cell phone video. Now, a nearby surveillance camera was also rolling at a store across the street. And watch what happens next. You'll see the video. Cops begin to violently beat this young man. They say he had a bag of what looked like cocaine residue in it. They also say he had a marijuana bag and tried to eat the marijuana when he was pulled over. Now, Kyle Howell denies all of this at a news conference today with his parents and his attorneys. He describes the only motion he did make in that car, which involved nothing illegal. My paycheck started to fly out the door. I went to go reach it, and the next thing you know, I got a knee to the face. Um, and then the next thing I remember, I was in the hospital. I'm going to take off your glasses just so I can see. And this is the damage that happened. There was no mercy shown as they broke the bones of my son's face. Now we live in fear of those who also want to protect him. Now, Kyle's family alleges racial profiling here. Cops allege that Kyle attacked them, and they've charged him with felony assault, also evidence tampering, which is a felony. He also faces misdemeanor drug possession charges. Once again, Kyle Howell denies all of this. He is suing the city's filed a notice of claim against Nassau County, and we will wait to see what happens next. But certainly, he's a defendant, but he's also filed a notice of claim against the Nassau County Police Department. We are live outside his attorneys in Garden City. I'm Stacey Sager, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.